Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is Baby Luna, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. I wanted to show everybody how big she is getting. Say hello, Luna, to everybody who has been asking about me. Come on, get down, baby. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to enter to win a $125, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and entering uh, blessing in the comment section down below. But with that being said, Scorpio, if you're doing well for yourself, let's l allow this for our friends and family that could use the extra come up. But everybody, anybody is welcome to enter the win, a free half hour FaceTime reading with moi by liking, subscribing, and entering readings. I am sorry, guys, I gotta, <laughs> I was, I not, Luna knocked a bunch of stuff over and I had to lift her up on the chair. She's 45 pounds right now. Boy, I'm out of breath. Let's get going. We are going to see uh, what is coming from now until the end of August. What is this retrograde energy bringing in for us? We are going into um, Venus retrograde on top of um, Virgo season on the 23rd. We are about to uh, start feeling the, the energy from uh, the blue super full moon. We have a second full moon um, on August 30th. And it is a blue moon because it only happens every um, now and again. It is very rare to have two full moons in one month. And it is a super moon, meaning it will be very, very close and beautiful to the earth. There are six houses right now in retrograde. So if you have been feeling a little off, down, sluggish, if you have been feeling like um, things are kind of stuck and they're not moving, this has been the universe's way of saying, now is time to relax. Right now is time to reflect. Um, you know, be the observer of your life. Watch, um, you know, what you're doing that may be positive or may be negative. What are the traits and things like that that you need to work on? Right now is a really good time for reflection. You may want to start getting ready because this super full moon in Pisces is very, very, very rare. And it is exciting because it is a time for release, big, big release and release of inner inner pain, release of childhood trauma, release of things that you may not want to look at or may haven't looked at in quite some time. So you may want to start jotting down and um, you don't need anything special, but you can get your crystals out, sage, burn a candle, burn a white candle and a black candle together and really um, work on setting intention to release some negativity, negativity from your life. What is it that is no longer serving me? What is it that I need to let go of that's holding me down energetically. So we're going to see what we can look forward to from now into the end of August and what this retrograde may be bringing back. There could be a lot of people from your past in general, not just lovers, people in general coming back, Scorpio. Um, so be ready for some of you here. Um, you may be really feeling the energy of the planets. See? Purging process. My guides are good. You may be currently experiencing emotional discomfort that is disrupting your inner peace. You're going through purging. It is time to reflect right now. It is time to purge. For some of you, um, it may not be time to, um, you know, make big choices and big decisions. It may just be time to reflect with all of these houses in retrograde. Um, you know, your money can slow down. Things can slow down for you. And if that is happening, if you are experiencing that, it is the divine's way of having you purge out old energy and really um, look at areas that need fixing or changing in your life. Energy protection. Your belief that you are not safe may be inviting in energy that is throwing you off balance. Ooh, oh Lord. Evil eye in the middle of that. For some of you, you feel like you are unsafe. If you feel like you are unsafe physically, um, please reach out for help. 
For most of you, though, you feel like somebody perhaps is sending evil eye or doing some kind of spell work and just your, I, I tell people this all the time, just your mind thinking that there is spell work will affect you. You remember our thoughts create a reality. And if you stay in a high enough vibration, nobody's dark ass energy can affect you. Um, envision it spearing off you, Scorpio. You are being protected by the divine. Um, stay in a high vibration. So this negative dark energy cannot um, reach you, can't touch you. Um, really big message here, Scorpio. You are safe, but you need to start believing you are safe because if you believe somebody is doing black magic on you, you will will start to experience um, negative things. Crossroads. A new business adventure, project, or career is currently in the works. Number 11 and number 50, reaching out. It's time to reach out and ask for help. For some of you, it's time. You've been depressed for a long time. You've been going in circles for a long time. Um, you may want to reach out and ask for help You may um, to a therapist. If you're not into therapy, you can reach out and, and, and get a tarot P reading with me. Um, I am here to listen, help guide, and lift your vibration. If you're going through something and you just can't seem to get yourself out of it, that you've been going through this purging process forever now, you may want to do some energy healing or reach out to a professional or um, someone such as myself, a coach, etc. I feel like for a lot of you, um, you're at a crossroads, but you're nervous because to move forward, you must let go of some things. And, and that's what's scaring you is the letting go process. From now until the end of August, you may start to realize, you know what, I, I am ready to purge out this or I am ready to move forward in one way or another in my life. But it may just be quite difficult right now, current, present moment. Karmic justice, wrongs will be made right, learning karmic lessons. From now until the end of August, for some of you, you will be uh, vindicated in some way. You will get exactly what you deserve. You could be having um, vivid dreams reaching for your dreams, the power of imagination. You are being guided to visualize right now. Um, really take advantage of all of this beautiful, strong uh, blue moon energy. Start releasing and, and coming up with a plan to manifest the life of your dreams. There could be somebody around you that has very lustful desires. For some of you, you could have a very active sex life. You perhaps have some lustful desires, or maybe you have been, um, you know, out here doing your thing, and uh, you may want to make sure that you protect yourself um, because sex, sexual energy, you can pick up dark energy easily if you are hooking up with a lot of people at once. Take some time off. Take some time to relax. Yesterday I did a reading and it was a big message that uh, a vacation would be necessary, that vacation um, would be beneficial. And um, it's really because, again, all of the planets being in retrograde right now, it is the universe's way. It is the divine's way of saying take a pause, take some time to relax, even if it's two or three days, just take a minute to really watch, uh, watch what um, needs, you know, changing in your life. Uh, what are the people and the things around you that are no longer serving you? Um, when you are relaxed, when you're in a really relaxed energy and, you, and you're not moving so fast, you can look at things like that. When you're just constantly on the go, moving, 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 making moves, doing this, doing that, it, it doesn't allow you to, to look at the things that may need to be changed for your highest good. Manifestation. Dreams manifesting into reality. Your manifestation is close. Getting more of what you want. Your manifestation power is strong from now until the end of August. Your manifestation power, incredibly strong, Scorp. Very, very good. I feel like for a lot of you, you are enjoying life more. Um, teamwork though, partnership, someone will come to your aid, expanding your network and delegating tasks. For some of you, you have somebody coming into your life that's going to, you're either going to collab with business-wise or possibly a new lover, um, could be a past lover. 
but whatever the case is, this, this Mercury retrograde, Venus retrograde energy is allowing you to look at things that need to be changed. You're, you're manifesting um, and, and wrongs are about to be made right. From now until the end of August, for some of you, you may have some really good things come in, some unexpected manifestations, but nevertheless, your manifestations are close. Um, now, the divine is on you know, its own clock, its own watch. We are all on different timelines. So when you're talking about timing in tarot, it is very difficult to, um, you know, we, you can't trust the time 100% because time is fluid. It is not linear. With that being said, for some of you, you are right here. Your manifestations are coming in your days and weeks away. For others, you may be a little longer, but that's okay. You may have just started your purging process and you're becoming really clear on the things that need to be changed in your life. That is what's going to bring in your manifestations. You taking time off, um, listening to yourself, you um, really purging out old energy. That's going to allow for new manifestations manifestations to come in. Tell me, Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know in love from now until the end of August, please? Somebody that you're mirroring, you're reflecting wounds. There's synchronicities everywhere. Yeah, there's been a lot of lessons here. Um, look for the lesson in the situation, understanding here, knowledge, learning lessons, and, and that's where you need to be, Scorpio. I feel a lot of you, this is what I'm saying, um, by relaxing, taking some time off, and, and being the observer of your life right now, um, you will be able to see what are the lessons that I've learned from this lover. What are the good things that have happened because of this situation? Um, you may also be learning lessons in general with career and otherwise, but for a lot of you, there's been a lot of love, love lessons. There's been drama, obstacles, spirits saying that you can rise above this you will be able to rise above the drama and the obstacles. This definitely could be your twin. Every day we get twin flame energy. A lot of you are dealing with a counterpart. You are dealing with the yin to your yang. It is an eternal love that you've been um, reincarnated here. But there's been a lot of issues and your twin may not be doing the work. If you want reconnection, it is important to remember that uh, we always separate from our twin to learn lessons, pay off karma, etc. And if you're not learning the lessons, you're slowing down your reunion with your twin. Tommy Spirit, what's coming in love for Scorpio? You may actually hear from your twin if you haven't heard from them in a while. Balance, yin yang, darkness to light, beautiful Scorpio, cozy, secure at home, at home with one another, and again, crossroads energy for a lot of you by the end of the summer, definitely um, before the, the fall equinox, you are going to make a decision. I feel you are at a crossroads trying to figure out what it is you want now right now in in your life do you even want this person back do you want to work on things with them or are you um going to be better off moving on spirits asking you to see the sunny side of life i do feel your twin might want to come speak to you about something tell me tell me what do they want spirit what do they want they've been holding their self back they want a new, exciting, they're going to text you here, page of cups. This person could reach out. They've been holding their self back in strength. This could be a Leo, another water side. Yeah, they're recovering from heartbreak. They feel like maybe enough time has passed that you won't be as upset with them or you, you won't be as heartbroken or they want to come in and try to recover from this heartbreak. Tell me about the crossroads, please. Um... I feel that your person could be at a crossroads as well. Yeah, you're going to manifest. You're going to manifest something new. Wow, boy, this is definitely your, I hope it is. For some of you, it is your energy. Just reliving the past. It's been a haunting loss. Five of Cups energy, nine of swords. Um, there's been manipulation. There's been things happening. Virgo energy here and the magician. You are being guided to manifest um, what you want here. But you have to get out of this energy, Scorpio. For a lot of you, this is your person. 
what they want is to come in and tell you that it's been a haunting loss. They keep reliving something, an argument or something, but they have been thinking over emotion. They've been too overly emotional or they're dealing with a very psychotic queen of swords in reverse, very emotional, bitchy uh, acts here. They could be dealing with somebody that is truly causing havoc in their life right now. And they want to come in and tell you something about it. They may have chosen to go back to an ex for some of you. And this ex is just really off their, uh, you know, cr they're crazy. They're really not in a balanced place. They've, they've really acted out of pocket as of lately, I feel. The Queen of Swords in Reverse is my least favorite energy in the deck. It is very nasty. They're overthinking though. You know, see, they're they're reliving something they've said, something they've done. They're overthinking. I'm driving myself crazy. Thoughts of you are consuming me, Scorpio. I'm at a crossroads. I have to make a decision. I don't know if I want to move on, if I should let go, or I've been feeling overwhelmed. I have a lot going on in my life right now. They feel like you have moved on, Scorpio. They feel like you perhaps have moved forward. Um, they're wondering if you have or if it's time for them to move on. That is the crossroads they are at. Should I come back home for some of you? They actually lived with you. and Or should I move on? Should I move on now? Because there's been so much betrayal and pain. What will they do from now until the end of August, please? What will they do? For some of you, this person is balancing their self out as well. Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands here, and Death with the Six of Pentacles. This person, first of all, wants to come in and be generous with you in some way. They want to come in and, and be generous with, with, with their emotions. They want to be open and vulnerable with you. They want to communicate in the Eight of Wands. Um, but here, Ten of Cups and death, this person may have to end a family um, relationship, somebody they have children with to do that, or they have children with you, and they need to go through a necessary ending for you all to rebuild your uh, life, your family, and your relationship. This is somebody here who wants a family. They could either want a family or have a family. And they, they do, they love their family. They're very close to their children or very close here to their extended family. This is a family person. It's a big message that I'm receiving for one reason or another. This is somebody who, who does really love family, but they have a lot of unresolved issues and wounds that y'all mirrored from, you know, off one another. King and Queen of Swords here. See, this person most likely went back to an ex. They live a unconventional lifestyle here in the Hierophant. They've been um, rushing in and out of your life and somebody else's life. They're, they're flip-flopping back and forth. This is someone who um, makes head over heart decisions often. This could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or they are dealing with somebody they've already went through a breakup with and they went back to. Um, they are now faced with, with a choice. Should I move forward and move towards Scorpio or should I move on? I feel for some of you from now until the end of August, you may receive a very small little pittle love offer from this person. It does not look like any huge gesture, maybe just a hi, how are ya, or something like that. Hi, stranger, hi, sexy, after not hearing from this person for two months or something. There's something very small that they want to come in and do, but they want to be open with you and generous in some way. For some of you, this person could owe you money. They could owe you child support. There's something here they want to try to make up, but a change will be forced upon you both. You need to trust in your leadership here. This person is very stubborn. Um, there will be showers of blessings. I claim spirit. Anything you do now will turn to gold and all good things come to those who wait, analyze, learn, and prepare. Uh, this person is hoping that you feel it is worth waiting. Um, you may, may have been since March that you have spoke to them. We are just leaving Leo season. For some of you, this person may have even reached out um, here 
uh, during Leo season, or they could be a Leo. Mm -mm -mm. So with that being said, I wish you the very best. But Scorpio, right now, it may not be the time to make a big decision. Just sit back and really reflect on the lessons that you have learned or the red flags that you allowed yourself not to see or, the, or things like that because you want to make sure that you learn and grow and heal and change from this connection. Um, by doing that, you will be able to manifest your, your dreams, baby. You, there's not many things on this planet that you can't accomplish when you put your mind to. So remember, um, don't put yourself in a box. I'm sorry for disappointing you. Will you accept my apology? And player, I'm choosing to keep an emotional distance and play the field. This is what I mean. This person lives a unconventional lifestyle. They, they're, uncon they're in unconventional relationships. I feel like even when they're with you or the third party, they're still playing the field for some of you. This person may just be out here doing the very most, really very lustful desires, very um, sexual. Uh, their sex life is very active quite active. I wish you the best of luck here. So tell me, Spirit, what message do we have for Scorpio um, about now into the end of August, going into the retrograde and Virgo season? Liberate yourself. You do not have to carry the burden alone. Have the courage to ask and accept help, and you are destined for greatness. Do you hear me? It is your destiny to be great. It is coded in your DNA. It is time to meet your greater self. Scorpio, reach out for help, love. If you're, if you've been in prolonged grief, if you've been in prolonged sadness, there's no shame in it. You're not weak. You're not pathetic. If you need to talk to somebody, it, it's going to be very, very beneficial for you. You are destined for greatness. Anything you touch will turn to gold. There's going to be showers of blessings. Get on that time. Get into it. Get excited about it because it is very, very good. Y'all, you're releasing, purging, and bringing in a lot of beauty into your life. So good. By the end of this year, for a lot of you, you have a big manifestation coming in. Intuition. You are encouraged to follow your feelings and intuition. This is a reminder that your personal power is in your own hands and that you are free to take flight at any time if you find yourself in a situation that doesn't suit you anymore. You see, listen to yourself. Sit back. What am I feeling pulled to do? What is my intuition telling me to do? Is it time to set sail on my own? Um, am I avoiding seeing some things in my life? Am I not looking at a, uh, some things that need to be looked at? Balance yourself out here because it's going to really benefit you and make you um, have the ability to manifest very quickly. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. Love and light.